Hello and welcome to Learning Science. In this video, I will talk about the virtual table or DAX summarize function in Power BI. This function is very useful when you want to summarize or group your data in Power BI. Let's jump to the computer for the demo. So let me first show you my data table. So this is my data table. So I will summarize my sales amount on country and customer and after summarization or grouping I will categorize the customer based on their sales performance like gold, silver or bronze. And here is my unit price and order quantity. So I will multiply unit price multiply by order quantity to find out sales amount. So now let me add a virtual table. In modeling tab, I will add new table. So I will give some proper name to this table. So I will say customers. Customers. Now here I'm going to use a summarize function. So summarize function required first parameter as a table. This is my table name. Now it required a group columns. So my first group column is country. In group column is. In group column is. Customer. Customer. Now I will calculate a sales amount. So first I will give heading to the column as a sales. Now here I will use a SUMX function. If you do not know about the SUMX function, please watch our video. Link of that video are in description box of this video. So SUMX function required a training sample, table name and expression. So order quantity multiply by Unit price. So now my virtual table is ready. So let me show you my virtual table. So this is my virtual table. So sales amount is summarized or group on country and customers. Now I want to categorize the customer based on their sales performance. So let me add a new column. And I will copy and paste my DAX code. So this is my column name category and sales amount is greater than this than gold. Sales amount is greater than this silver, otherwise bronze. So I have populated my category column. And let me go back to the visualization part. And prepare a small report for understanding. So I will add. Donut chart here. Donut chart. Or one pie chart. And Sorry. So this is bar chart, two bar chart. So what I'm going to say here, I will add a categories in detail and I will say this is my sales amount. So you can see the category wise sales amount. Here I will add again category. And I will. Add customer count. So you will be able to see the. Category wise customer count. Now here what I'm going to do. 
on x axis my country and the legend will be the category and sales amount. So country wise, categories wise, sales amount. So now here, again, I will add country, category as a legend and customer count. So customer count wise, customer count by country and category. Let me enable a data level. So this is my report. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. I request you to please subscribe my channel.